Hey guys, what's up? It's Krista and I haven't made a video in such a long time, but like we're in quarantine So here we go <laughs> So I guess you click this video if you're deciding to go to Binghamton University or not And because we're in quarantine and it's a really hard time for everyone and really things aren't accessible to even go there I'm gonna tell you everything that you want to and need to know before going or accepting to Binghamton I'm literally gonna give you all the details all the facts all the tea everything you need to know So I have different sections for the video and I'll tell you the times that you can click to fast forward to that section So if you want to know just about a specific part, I'm gonna talk about move-in day, dorms and living, food, living tips, socializing, and just some facts and then the bath program. So let's get started. Also, I'm not wearing any makeup because who wears makeup in quarantine when we're bored at home? And I didn't feel like putting it on for this video because I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> okay, so let's start with move-in day. Also, if you wanna know anything about orientation, advice, what to bring, what it's like, you might not have it now because of quarantine, but I will link it down below because I made a whole video on that. Okay, so first I'm gonna talk about move-in day. It is a very exciting and nerve-wracking day for everyone. Don't be worried. So when you get there, there's gonna be a line of cars in front of your dorm building. People will help you move your stuff up and down. You're probably gonna need a bunch of trips because I'm guessing you have like a lot of stuff you're living there for a year so like so the first thing you're gonna get is keys these are my keys well these aren't my keys keys but like you get keys you get a card you either could swipe into your door or use your key my building didn't have the ability to swipe in because it was broken so i only had the key and if you're in BAP, you have to get a broom and bing card. So you use that for transportation and for your meal plan if you get one there. So when you're moving in, people are going to definitely help you. When I moved in, my RA actually came in and said hi and introduced themselves. And it was really nice of him. Before you start organizing your room, please clean everything. Like especially in today's day, like we need to start being more cautious. When I moved in, I cleaned every single thing because they don't really clean before you get there. Like, they probably say they do, but they don't. Like, I promise you, they don't. Um, a few things to be aware of is you can't cover 20% of the wall. You can't have candles. I had a candle, but, like, I didn't light it, but, like, I just had it. But, like, when the RAs come in to check, just, like, put it in a drawer. Because they can't go in your drawers. Yeah. The first day, like, you get there, there's going to be events that your RA sets up. There's going to be, like, a floor meeting, so you meet everyone on your floors. So you get to know people. He probably is going to put some cool door tags on. When I went, during move-in day, I had an event or something that was at my dining hall. And everyone went under the dining hall from that community because it was pouring rain. A whole storm came in, so all our events were closed. We didn't have anything, so we were just, like, bored in our room. And it kind of sucked, but it was funny also. Now, for dorm and living. So there's five different communities and I'll talk about each of them. There's Mountain View, Hinman, Dickinson, Newing, and College in the Woods. You're gonna hear a lot of information so just be prepared because I'm gonna tell you some tea and you're, it might change your whole mindset about going into dorming. So I live in Mountain View and I'm gonna live there next year because it's the best. It's suite style so there's six person suites and it's pretty much a mini apartment. It's crazy that I even got to live there. There's three rooms with doubles and then a sink outside, two baths, Bathrooms, one bigger with a shower, one smaller without one, and there's just so much room. We put a TV, we had couches. Mountain View is a very good choice if you're thinking of a suite, and it's great to live with other people. You're never bored. You always have people to talk to, something to do. You don't really get lonely as much. Mountain View also has triples, but I don't recommend a triple because you barely get your own space. There's no like separations in the room, so you're all just like three beds, like no privacy. Mountain View, I love. It's like the best community ever. You feel like a family when you're there and it's all the buildings and then there's a huge lawn a basketball court volleyball court tennis court There's just so much there going on when it's hot outside everyone's on the lawn playing. It's like back to childhood It's the best thing ever and people say Mountain View is the quiet community But it's not like it's up the hill you have to walk there But once you're there, it's like a whole family and also Mountain View has the best dining hall Like everyone goes to our dining hall from everywhere on campus because it's the best one So it's the way to go trust me Next is Dickinson. Dickinson is probably the best one too because it's pretty much a five-star hotel. They have flat. They look like going on vacation to a cabin. It looks like that. It's so pretty. I honestly wish I could live there, but it's really competitive to get in. So Dickinson has flat. So there's two doubles and a single. It's a five-person flat and a big bathroom. And it's not a common room like Mountain View has. It's more of a hallway, but it's still like a little common area. People put chairs and stuff, but it's smaller than an apartment like Mountain View. 
mountain view. But Dickinson is so nice. There's always people around. There's so many people in the building compared to Mountain View, which has less people. And there's so many floors and the rooms have huge windows. It's really nice. So the third community, community? Community, I'm gonna talk about is Newing. And it strictly doubles, but it's not like communal bathrooms. You share like a bathroom with like the room next to you, kind of. And there's public bathrooms, I'm pretty sure, on every floor anyways. And every floor in every building, pretty positive, has a study lounge. So it's like a little area to study. They have desks, they have tables. You can hang out there. It's really nice. Newing, just an FYI, is a lot of frat and sorority kids go to Newing. Just letting you know. It's not strictly them, but you're going to find a lot of those type of people there, I guess. Next is College in the Woods. Don't live in College in the Woods. Do not put yourself in College in the Woods. I'm telling you now, you do not want to live there period. I was talking to someone who wanted to go to Binghamton and they were gonna live there and I told them don't like it's the worst it's dirty it, there's names that people call it as a joke but like, you'll figure it out once you get there <laughs> not good vibes like dark and gloomy and I mean I'm sure if you live there it's a different vibe you probably got used to it and like it but just just don't live there last is Hinman and I think it's all sweets I'm pretty sure it's not like the favorited place but it's a really good option if you want to live there next section is all about food. I'm so excited to talk about this section because I just love food. Okay, so the best dining hall is, I'm not being biased, but everyone knows Ask. Their dining hall for Mountain View is the best dining hall. They have the best food. They're the cleanest. It's just a really nice environment. They have so many tables. It's huge. It's elevated. It overlooks the mountain. There's huge windows, lots of light, and it's just a very good place to be. I even go there to do work sometimes. And also the food is the best. Just saying. All, everywhere else kind of sucks if I'm being honest. I'm not being biased, I promise. Some tips for the dining hall, buy awake bars. There's these chocolate bars that are caffeinated and they kind of, I'm on crack when I'm on them. Like they're so good and they kept me awake, like for real. And I love chocolate, like I have an addiction. So that's also probably why. There's also a stealing fee at every dining hall. So like, not gonna lie, people steal. Like you could put things in your pocket and walk out. Like you probably have enough money on your meal plan, but like people do that. Like it's not hard to do that. Not condoning stealing, but if you do, there's a stealing fee, so it doesn't really matter. You can get food from any dining hall you want, so you could walk by no matter where you are, pick up something from any dining hall, you just swipe with your card. But in the Union, there's the Marketplace, which has so many food options, like, sorry, my dog's barking. Tully's, Red Mango, there's Indian food, um, Thai food, there's Copper Top, Copper Top Mac and Cheese, and Tully's Tenders will change your life, just saying. Just saying. But everything is double the price there. Don't go there often like I did and waste my whole meal plans. I went to study a lot with my friends and we kind of used studying as an excuse to go to the marketplace to eat, but like that's fine, that's okay. And also at the Union, there is Dunkin' Donuts. You can use your card for Dunkin' Donuts, so it's right on your meal plan. It's just a little expensive, obviously, because it's Dunkin', but avoid the old man working there. He is the rudest guy ever for no reason. He just has the worst attitude. He's so mean. He like yelled at me for my order. I was just really scared and like kind of hated that whole experience. Everyone knows him, just avoid him. You'll know why if you ever go there, if he still works there. There's also a coffee place. I'm pretty sure it's called Einstein's, like on campus. It's near the library. They have coffee, bagels. It's like a morning breakfast place. And there's also a Starbucks truck. So there's a Starbucks truck that always sits near Hinman. I got Starbucks all the time because I was in Mountain View. So it was like a two minute walk. Also, I recommend getting a lower meal plan. I had like one of the lowest meal plans and I lasted perfectly fine. And it got transferred over to the next semester, but they don't get transferred over to the next year. So if you have money at the end of the last semester, go ham buy everything at your bed and jerry's pines just get everything because it won't transfer to the next semester and you don't want to waste money the dining hall for newing and um dickinson they share a dining hall it's huge it's called c4 the food isn't good the only thing good there is the milkshakes the only time you probably will go there is at 4 a.m after you get back from a party like that's what it's known for just warning you everyone goes to c4 at 4 a.m after you come back from your parties and you're just getting your curly fries and your milkshakes it's just a really fun time that's what c4 is known for c4 besides that kind of sucks and it's pointless but whatever moving on to living tips one big thing is split stuff with your roommates like one of you buys the shower mats shower carpet anything like that like split things so you don't have to spend all your money and i'm sure whoever you're living with will want to save money and do that too bring some canned soup or oatmeal packets because you never know when you're going to be stuck in your room if it's a snow day there are days where it snows so much in binghamton you just can't leave your room 
and you just have to eat what you have. At least have some emergency foods like that. And I would also recommend renting a fridge and a microwave because it is helpful and I use them a lot. Buying a Brita filter for water to refill your water so you have clean water so you don't have to use the water fountains because they're not that great because I wasted so much money on water. I drink water like a fish. <laughs> Also, another thing about living is you're gonna have your RA's number and if people are being noisy next door and you have a text, do not hesitate to text your RA like people are being crazy, please like tell them to shut up and they will do that for you and it's really not a big deal because that happens sometimes and a lot of people do that, well not complaining but like letting the RA know about a situation because people have tests and like midterms and exams and they need quiet when they sleep so it's totally understandable and also if you get locked out of your room which I have done text your RA his key will unlock everything so it's really helpful to just be in contact and know your RA next section is socializing okay so one thing is to join clubs and sports if I didn't join soccer I wouldn't have met so many amazing people so please you don't have to show up like you could just go one time like it's not a commitment you could show up to the third meeting only and like keep going after that it doesn't really matter I advise you to walk around campus just for fun with your friends just explore new places try new dining halls it's a good way to meet people and just see different types of environments in different communities also if it's snowing I advise you to go to app and steal trees and <laughs> use them as sleds <laughs> Or if it's hot out, just go outside and play. Play basketball, just like sit outside, do your work. You'll feel like it's a community more and it's just really fun to be surrounded by a bunch of students doing the same stuff as you. Also, you can get a membership at the gym. You'll have unlimited access to free classes like arm workout classes, classes for your butt, classes for your abs, classes for cycling, they're all free. Plus, you get to go to the gym whenever you want. So it's kind of a good deal. I did that, I went to the gym a lot. I encourage you to go to sporting events. I went to like every basketball game and it was so fun with my friends one thing to know is it's so different than high school people don't judge each other we're just open-minded just trying to better ourselves and get an education and also just have fun with people that genuinely make us happy don't worry about clicks or whatever you're worried about that people were like in high school it's totally different in college people are focusing on themselves and their friends and just trying to make themselves happy and not trying to put others down so it's not like high school I promise you freshman 15 I don't even even know if that's a real thing. I guess for some people it is. I didn't, honestly, I didn't even get freshman 15. It's normal. Like you're in a new environment, you have to adapt. It's kind of lonely at first. Just remember to keep in contact with your old friends from high school because when you go home, they have your back and your family has your back. So just remember, stay in contact with the people who initially were always there for you and mean the most to you because they're always gonna be there for you. And yeah. Next, I'm gonna talk about the party scene downtown. I'm sure you guys wanna know. There is a big party scene at Binghamton. People party in their rooms. People go downtown a lot. Buses take you from the Union to downtown for free with your card. There's so many good places to eat downtown. There's Taco Garage, The Lost Dog Cafe, Colonial, Craft. They have really good milkshakes and sliders. Los Rios, there's so many places. There's also good bars like Dillinger's, Jimmy's, JT's. Like, I'm not gonna go into all of that. Like, the frats and bars are downtown and they're super fun. You always can Uber take a Binghamton bus back. If you want to know more about that party scene and stuff, you could like message me separately. My Instagram is Krista underscore ILE. So you could just ask me honestly any questions. If you're nervous about anything, I want to help you and be there for you. So any worries, concerns, just hit me up and I will get back to you. There's also a plaza like a block away from Binghamton's campus. So U Club is housing, but there's also so many places to eat. You could order insomnia cookies to your room. There's a salad place, Core Life. Tell these five guys chipotle there's so many things there too next i'm just gonna throw random facts at you and then talk about that program and then i'll be done so some facts are there's about 18,000 i think students there but you don't feel like there's so many but it's enough so that you don't see familiar faces all the time 30 kids from my high school went to binghamton and i probably saw like three of them just breathe everything will be okay i promise everything works out also another tip use rate my professor before you choose your classes and teach it's a website. I'll link it down below. Go on it, type in Binghamton University, your professor's name, and it'll give you past students that took that class. They'll tell you how the teacher is, what grade they got, tips, and everything like that. It's super useful. Also, Binghamton's a SUNY, and it's considered a public ivy just saying and it's also really cheap compared to not really cheap but like compared to like Syracuse it's really cheap 
and you get a really good education too so also another website i'm gonna link down below is called chegg buy your textbook here they're cheaper don't go to the bookstore and buy them because they're so expensive like hundreds of dollars it's crazy also you could go to the fleischmann center at the union if you need assistance with anything about classes or internships that's always a good resource to go to next the bat program it's a hundred percent worth it you'd have to take a bus which is annoying but everyone in bat gets to know each other and it's kind of like a little community and we'll help each other out with things and everyone in bat struggles the same way and relates they are always there to help each other out and it's worth it if you want to go from a small transition for smaller classes and one-on-one -on -one attention to adjusting to bigger class sizes which a lot of people like it's definitely worth it it helps you adjust to a different lifestyle and going to college at a bigger school and it's easier classes please do it it's annoying once you're in it and stuff but it's really worth it I promise you so that was a lot of information thrown at you I hope that helped in any way it possibly could and I hope maybe it made you make a more clear decision if you want to go or not to Binghamton it's an amazing school I absolutely loved my first year there I'm so sad that quarantine got it cut short but I hope everyone is staying home and inside and healthy to flatten this curve we're doing this to not only help ourselves in our own health but our grandparents and the older generation and the younger generation who are easily more immune to getting this virus so please stay safe and that's all I can say can express it enough but thank you so much for watching if you have any questions Questions, DM me on Instagram or comment down below. Have a good day. Yeah, see my peanut butter jelly stack, pull it right, brush it up, uh, paint it. That's my sunshine when it's raining. That's my pool, yeah, yeah. When I'm all alone, she pulled through.